we can subscribe to up to 64 Goose messages. Each one of these Goose messages consists of several fields here. The mode of the, uh, the published Goose that we're expecting, uh, the Goose ID, the destination Mac, the E-Type app ID, the Goose control block, the data set that was being used, um, the uh, configuration revision, and so far so on and then this would be pop then you would also populate this with the different types of words that were being populated each member of the goose message being published published now the way we're going to do this is we're actually going to not do it manually we're going to go in and we're going to use the different screens that we have here so if we're going to subscribe to a goose message we would go immediately into the rx goose boolean inputs and the first thing we would do is we would go to add an IED. Here we have a choice of different uh, file types, IID, ICD, CID, and SCD files. And I, in this case, I have one here available for me. I'm going to use the CID file. Remember, the CID is our, our configured file. The ICD is the one that has no settings in it. So we'll open that, it'll, it'll give you a choice of IED to select from. It'll now populate it. It displays the IED name, our master logical device, and we've got two different control blocks available to us. So this is the only one that has any digital signals in it. And you just simply grab, depress and hold your left mouse button and drag it in. Here you can see it automatically gives you, uh, it tells you, places it in one of the 64 goose messages. So there's 64 in here. As I showed you before, this is just a placeholder. As we hover over it, you can see the rest of the information that's associated with the goose message. You can see the members that are located in it as well. So there were three items that we put in the members, the actual operate signal, the quality stamp, and the, the timestamp. And you can name this as well. So you have a, a field of 20 characters. We can call this, um, go to names, relay. Relay one. And this member is basically it's one of the 64 members out of the uh, the goose message as you can see in here the first one was the boolean so that's this is what it's listed here you can adjust the default state as to whether you want it off on the latest off or the latest on and what that basically means is if we lose communications what do you want this to be showing as so Basically, what this will do is if uh, you if you were connected and you lost communications and you select latest on, then it will freeze it as as a as a as on. Okay, and of course this is for the events or for the event recorder. The next thing we'll look at is the double bit position. I don't have any data in the the CID file. However, it's the same as the the boolean input, except. The only thing that's different here is just uh, the field. You have, uh, once again, the naming convention. It would automatically populate which goose you were going to drag the information from. The member, the latest, once again, same idea. Now, the only thing that here is different is uh, we have five states as opposed to four if we have communication. So the reason for this default state is if, we, if when we're starting up the device, the I, the UR, or we've lost communications, then what do you want it to be? So one of the, the changes are uh, immediate state, which is when the UR is starting and not yet received the message. Uh, we can go off, there's on. The bad state, this is undesirable. The latest, this is the lost connectivity with the publisher. And of course, we have the events here. The next thing we'll look at is the analog values. And you can see that we have an expansion point here. And we can come in here, we can drag the signal in.
and basically this is showing the, the member number is showing where the signals are within the, the goose message. If you hover over the the goose, uh, the remote input, you can see that uh, what the, the details are within that goose. You can see the control block, the data set names, and how it's, it's structured with the members. Now let me go through some of these other default uh, menus that are on here. So here the default is, the default value is here to display this value in the event that the communication is lost, or you can set this up so it'll show the last known value. So whatever was last displayed will be the one that will be displayed on the screen or on the front panel of the relay. You can enter your units depending on what the analog values are. And the, the, the per unit is based on a, a 1000 base so that if uh, if you leave this as 1.00 the values when you read it in through the the metered section for the analog inputs um, you will get a value that is one one thousandths so what you need to do here is actually reduce this to 0 0.001 to get a one-to-one -one value when you're reading it back through the the metered sections.